Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tasha. And if you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Last week, I did a video about some of my empty skincare products for sensitive dehydrated skin. So if you are interested in any products like that, definitely give that video a look. And um, in that video, I mentioned that I would try to be back much sooner. Um, it's been seven days as opposed to the typical 365. Please clap. We are breaking generational curses this year, I feel like, on YouTube. So um, if you guys want to stick around for the journey, please, like I said, hit subscribe. Um, and yeah, like, let's get into this video. So this is a kind of a try on slash just talk through of some products that I've been sent recently from Ilya Beauty. They have a couple of launches recently. The first one that you probably have seen everywhere is their um, foundation stick, which is this guy right here. She's a beaut. I've loved it. I've been playing around. I could not resist trying it before I got on camera. So this isn't going to be like a first impressions, but definitely I'll be able to kind of talk you through some of my favorite um, aspects of this product. And then we do have something that's completely new, which is their new lip crayon, like a moisturizing lip crayon. So I'll finish off my foundation look with their new lip product. And you guys can let me know if you would grab any of these products for yourselves or try them out for yourselves. I personally think they're beautiful, but like I said, I feel like I'm a huge fan of Ilya um, and a lot of what they do. So uh, I'm a little bit biased. Uh, anyway, that being said, let us get into this video. All right, so Ilya sent me three shades for my base. And before I show you what they are, let me read you the description for this product. It says, looks like makeup, acts like skincare. This weightless complexion stick melts in and moves with you, wearing seamlessly for up to 12 hours. Buildable, medium coverage, instantly blurs pores, redness, and texture with a natural matte finish. Over time, potent anti-aging ingredients help firm, smooth, and soften the appearance of lines and wrinkles for healthier looking skin with every swipe. So like I said, they sent me three shades. I'm going to go ahead and test them out for you. Let's start with 35W Acacia. Thirty seven N Ipe, and thirty eight C Jara. I feel like Jara and Ipe are probably my two best matches. For all over and I probably can use acacia for like the middle of my face or like highlighting so I definitely feel like I can get use out of all three of these um shades but let me turn to the side so you could definitely see for yourselves and you'll see like as they actually blend out like it works really well with my skin um I think I forgot to say, I believe this comes in 42 shades. Let me just double check that. So yeah, this comes in 42 shades as well. So I do need to also mention that. And the shade range is really, really nice. Um, it's quite wide. So you should be able to find your shade. Um, the other two shades that they sent me actually were for highlighting and contouring. I have 40C Wenge or Wenge, which is kind of like, it says cool, but it looks more warm to me. Like it definitely reads more like reddish, but it is very deep. I think it's the third to last shade. Um, and then I also have Kumaru 30W, and this is the shade that I chose for a highlight, which kind of looks similar to what I would normally go for. Just something like kind of golden and bright, obviously. So we'll see how that looks as well. They sent me all of this together just to try out as like underpainting. So I'm definitely excited to show you guys my sort of like technique or like how I've been able to use these uh, foundations to create underpainting because I actually really love the effect of it. Now that I understand it and I've tried it on my face, I actually really don't think I can go back to just like the other way I was doing it before. So, so normally I do like 
um, color correction around my chin, but I'm not going to do that today just so you can see the coverage um, of the product without anything else on. So I had to fill my eyebrows in a little bit more. Now we can get started with this. Let's start with 30W. This is Kumaru. And this is going to be my highlight shade. I'm going to go pretty much anywhere I would highlight. So I'm going to start under the brow. I'm just going to use a brush for this. So it's a bit more precise under here. It's very smooth. And the whole thing with underpainting is you're supposed to like go real heavy handed, which looks crazy. But if you trust the process, it yields some really good results. So I'm just going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to go under the eye. This is so creamy too. This product is really beautiful. And as it like warms up on your skin, it definitely gets even like better like to blend. So that's that. Let's go in with 40C Wenge or Wenge. And let's do our contour. Actually, I saw somebody before go down like this. Across the forehead. Whoa. <laughs> I'll go down the eyebrows. Oh. Let's go back in with the highlight shade and I'm gonna go a little bit more in the middle right here. <laughs> All right, let's start here. Let's start with this contour with a fluffy brush. It really blends out like so beautifully. It almost looks like an airbrushed sort of look. Like, so nice. Okay, now the highlight.
definitely also medium. So I'll go in and add a bit more. Looks very natural already, which is kind of crazy considering it's not even fully done. Covered so much. Yeah, you can like really see the like line of demarcation there, but I'm gonna go in first with a bit more because I do want more coverage. So in here. Yeah, I just want more coverage um, in some of these areas. Oops. Looks yellow on camera. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna use some blush. This is the Ilia Multi Stick. I'm gonna go in with Dear Ruby, which is like a, you know, a corally kind of orange. And I'm gonna just go kind of heavy handed as well, right, kind of in between the contour and the highlight. So quite a bit. This is one of those products that's, quite sheer but buildable as well. Let's see a brush. Well, I know my forehead is crazy. <laughs> yeah, you go in real heavy with all these products underneath, and then the idea is you're going to bring it together with your foundation at the end. So it'll look scary for a minute. I don't really go down my, I don't really do any like contouring or anything on my nose typically. I don't know if I should, but I don't know. Um, I want to stack blushes. So I'm going to go in with a fine romance multi-stick as well. This is like more of a berry tone. And I think it'll add a little bit more like dimension to the cheek. Let's try to take care of this line here on my forehead. <laughs> Bring it down a little bit. Okay. That's the gist. That's the basics of underpainting. Let's go in with Ipe. So let's do it on the hand. Mm -hmm. 
just going to go in around the mouth. Just a little bit with this. I have another foundation that I want to wear as well. So just do a little bit of this to blend everything down here. Like, look at the finish of this. It's so pretty. So there's that. But we also can go in with a liquid foundation. And I have this one from Ilia as well called the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. It's this right here. I have the shade Miho ST17. I'm going to use this instead of the foundation stick. And that's typically what you would do when you underpaint anyway. You would use like, you know, like I said, go in heavy with your um, highlight, your contour, and your blushes. Um, and then you'll go in with a foundation. Usually it's going to be a liquid foundation. So I'm going to do that. But I did want to do at least the bottom portion with the foundation stick. So you can kind of see how it blends it all together. And you can see the shade match. I think that that's like a perfect shade for me, actually. Um, yeah, I love that. So let's go in the other foundation just to try it out. I'm just going to use a couple. You don't even need that much product. Like that's the other benefit of underpainting is that you basically need so little product like a couple of drops of foundation and you're, you're good. So that's the benefit of this technique as well is everything looks kind of like natural and definitely much better blended. And you don't need that much product. So if you're scared of contouring and highlighting For any reason, try underpainting because I think you might be surprised. That's the result. And it looks very natural. Like, that's the other thing. I mean, obviously, depending on the products that you use and the intensity that you're going for, I mean, you could definitely make this even more of an intense thing. But I mean, the goal for this look, I guess, is to make it feel and look a bit more natural. Like all this is coming from within me, um, not just like sitting on top of the skin. And I don't know, I just feel like all of these products um, really help achieve that because of the way that they like blend so like easily and the way that they just mimic skin texture. Like that looks like my skin. I don't know what else like to say. It doesn't feel like makeup um, at all to me. And it just looks like my skin. Like that is crazy to me. Like this is a perfect, like my skin, but better sort of moment. Um, yeah, I feel like it all just blended out really beautifully together. And it just, I don't know, my skin looks like juicy and like hydrated. Um, I probably am going to go in and set this just because I always set my makeup. Uh, I do have another product from Ilia and it is their fade into you soft focus finishing powder. This is such an underrated product. I don't think really anybody talks about this, but it's like very, very finely milled, um, translucent powder. And I love setting my makeup with this. Um, I'm gonna just focus on the under eye area just to kind of knock out some of the shine. Like it's gorgeous. 
nice. And I mean, translucent. Normally I'll go for like a yellowy powder under my eyes, but you know, for the purposes of this demonstration, I think this works beautifully. And it's so blurring. Like, does that not look amazing? I just, I don't know. I just really like love this powder. I just feel like it's so pretty and you still get some of the natural luminosity, um, but it's not as intense. I don't love an intense shine. I'm not going to lie. Like if I could just keep it on my cheeks, then that's perfect. So yeah, all over shine is not really my thing, but I do love when it's not set like it still looks just very like natural still not super like greasy or oily all right so then i'm gonna go in with the nightlight bronzing powder this is in the shade songbird looks like this just to kind of intensify the bronzing around my face this is another product that i feel like is kind of a sleeper for Ilya. I think I could do that like all day long. <laughs> all right, all right, and I'm gonna highlight with In the City. This is another multi stick, and it's like a pretty like bronzy tone or champagne sort of tone. So let's go back. Let's clean that on. Okay. It's so like subtle and but natural. I think that's like my favorite thing about their makeup is everything really blends out beautifully. It's not super intense, but it's just, you look like you're just catching the light. And I really love that.
All right, and then I'm going to go in with the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. Look at this. It's major. <clears throat> go back in with a fine romance just because I think I want a little bit more blush just a bit more intensity and I think that's perfect Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so that's the base all done. I feel like this looks just gorgeous. It's giving airbrush, it's giving natural. Um, the like shade match I feel like is beautiful. Like it doesn't look too orange or too anything. I think my highlight might be like a slight bit too golden. I mean, but that's on me, I chose this color. Um, so I probably would either go in with something slightly different um, but I don't know. In person, it looks a bit more natural. It just might be on camera that it's reading a bit yellow. I'm not sure, but either way, I feel like this is still gorgeous. Um, and like I said, this underpainting technique is so lovely because everything in the end just kind of diffuses together and it looks a lot more like natural. You know what I mean? Like just you're blushing from within or these, this is my natural cheek contour. Like, what do you mean? It always looks like this. Like, that's how it, it looks like in person. So definitely I recommend this technique if you've been avoiding it because you feel like maybe it's too intense or, you know, um, too difficult maybe to achieve. Don't be intimidated by it. It's really simple. Um, and yeah, if you pick the right products, I think you'll be like amazed at how beautiful and natural and how actually quick it comes together. Like it's not uh, time consuming at all. So definitely recommend. I love these new shade sticks. I think they're so creamy, very, very like blendable. I love that they're buildable. That color range, the shade range, I think is actually beautiful. It's wide. I think you actually may have issues finding your color, if that makes sense. Like getting an accurate shade match, I think might be most people's biggest problem. Like I definitely needed two different ones um, to be able to like get the accurate match that I needed. But I feel like it's a good problem to have because sometimes you go to a brand and you don't see a shade that works with you at all. So um, yeah, I feel like there should be something in here for most people that you can work with. So let's finish off today's look. Um, the other launch that was sent to me was the Lip Sketch Hydrating Crayon. This is basically a lipstick and lip liner in one product. And let me read the description for you. Um, it says, the creamy comfort of a lipstick, the precision of a lip liner. This weightless lip crayon glides on smoothly, delivering rich, long-lasting color with a soft matte finish. 
powered by potent skincare ingredients, Lip Sketch Hydrating Crayon is clinically proven to hydrate, plump, smooth, and strengthen the skin barrier with every wear. And this is has 12 hour wear, it's bleed resistant, smoothing, and barrier building. So I have been playing with these for like the past like week or so. My favorite shade, unsurprisingly, if you know me well, is Case Study, and it's basically a blue-red, and it's gorgeous. The other shade that actually kind of surprised me is Night Bloom, and it's this one, which is like a blue sort of tone magenta um, color. Very pretty for spring. Like, I love um, putting it all over and then just, like, um, diffusing it out with my finger and putting like a gloss or something over top of it. So this is gorgeous, definitely highly recommend. But I think today I'm gonna go for the red because I love red and I don't know, I just, I feel it in my spirit today. So let's do case study. That is so pretty. I'm sorry. Like that is a gorgeous red lip. Like I'm very picky about my red lipsticks. This for me is like, it's up there. It reminds me a little bit of like Ruby Woo if it was hydrating, but you can see it's still pretty like matte. It's not like super shiny or glossy at all. It's, but it's comfortable. It's very lightweight, exactly as it's described. Like I want to keep applying it even though I don't need to. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Like, that is such a pretty... It's so pretty. And I feel like not a lot of reds work, like out of the tube for me and my skin. Like sometimes I feel like I need to make sure it's like a very specific tone of red in order to get it to look good. And I feel like this is, this is perfect out of the tube. So yeah, I'm obsessed. I love her. Um, some of the other shades in this, I feel like are too light. I definitely need a lip liner for, um, they look gorgeous in terms of like a nude. So any, any of them should work well with a brown liner. Um, but I feel like out of the tube or out of the crayon, I should say night bloom and case study, if you have deeper skin are going to look amazing without any other like liner or anything, um, to accompany it. But the others, you'll probably need something to, um, help give it some definition. Um, but yeah. That's the final look. Let's run down real quick what we did in today's video because I feel like I tried a bunch of stuff and I just want to recap. So we did underpainting with the new Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. I just really enjoy these products so much. Like I'm very picky about my foundations, my skin. Um, I feel like has a tendency sometimes to look overdone in, in makeup, especially when you have to be a bit heavier handed with, you know, a technique like underpainting. Sometimes I feel I look like too like made up. And I feel like the effect of underpainting with a product like this, where it's much more like diffused and almost like natural looking is that you get a, a very like polished look, but it's not too heavy. And so I think that's why these products like actually really do it for me lately because I feel like I'm able to get a full face without looking like I have a full face of makeup on. It still looks very natural. 
Um, and again, I think these are great. They're very creamy. They blend out beautifully. I love the buildable coverage and I love the long wear. I mean, I'm not doing a wear test for this video, but I have worn these, like I said, previously to this video. So I do feel like they are very long lasting and they only get better kind of throughout the day as your oils kind of mix in. It gives it even more of a glow. So, um, but if you're like me and you do like to set your makeup, I do highly recommend the uh, Fade Into You finishing powder because I just feel like this is so like, it's very blurring, smoothing, um, and it's like the right amount of transparent. You know what I mean? Like it's not leaving like a white cast. Like you can still very much see all of the different shades of my skin under this. So it's very finely done, finely milled powder and very smoothing, very blurring, soft focus as the name kind of infers. And yeah, I love that. So if you do need to set your face, that is a definite recommend from Ilya. Um, for color on the cheeks, I went for the multi sticks. I have it in three shades. The third one has, oh, here it is. Um, so I use three different shades of the multi-stick and I used Dear Ruby and a Fine Romance for my cheek color. And then you saw me highlight with In the City, which is like a champagne-y sort of color. Like, I just feel like this is so pretty for a highlight because it just looks like light. It's not very shimmery. It's not super shiny, but you like, it catches the light. And I think that this is like one of those um, highlighting products that uh, you should have in your bag if you want something that just looks more subtle and more natural, like your skin, but better sort of. Um, that is, like I said, a definite recommend from me. Um, and I've used those. Those are an older launch that I've used for quite a while now. So I definitely love those. I love incorporating those into my daily routine. Um, also for the base was the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. I'm in the shade Miho. Um, I definitely have enjoyed using this product. It's, um, I feel like for my skin, like the shade match and the fact that it has SPF in it, the shade match is like superb. Uh, I definitely, I had another shade that was like, a, a, like a slight bit too light. And I think that's my only sort of word of warning with Ilya is that you need to try the, the shades in person because they definitely don't translate. The swatches online don't necessarily translate to what you get in the bottle. So that's my biggest recommendation, especially for deeper skin or any skin tone, really. Like definitely make sure if you can go to a Sephora and swatch these things in person that you do that just so that you end up with the shade that you actually need. Um, and yeah, I think this is beautiful. It's very glowy. It's a very like skin-like sort of product again as well. But you know, with the SPF 40, I probably use a lot more than I did, or as you saw earlier, like where I just dotted around my face. Uh, this is definitely something you'd want to use more of to get this, you know, SPF benefits from. But if you've been looking for a skin tint, this is gorgeous. But like I said, just go swatch the colors in person because you may have to, you know, figure out where you, where you actually land in their shade range. So that's beautiful. Um, I really have been loving this mascara lately. This is the fullest volumizing mascara. This came in PR a while ago as well. And I just kind of like, because I always have mascaras open, I only have started using it in the last week. And I just, I feel like silly for not using this sooner. Like look at how beautiful the lashes look. I just feel like they look very full, very like long, you know, just, I don't know, everything you kind of want in a mascara the um, consistency is a little bit more liquidy, so you definitely need to be a little bit careful. I noticed that there was some like uh, mascara that got on my makeup, but that's easily remedied. But it's just like a little bit like a liquid, liquidy mascara. Um, runnier maybe is the right term, but it's beautiful. The brush is huge. It's a huge brush, but it's a gorgeous mascara. So yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed that I hadn't been using it sooner, but she's pretty. Um, and then the last thing, but not the least, is the new Lip Sketch Hydrating Crayon. I just adore this. I really love this red. I immediately gravitated toward it. I'm so happy that it works, like, it seems universally. 
Um, I think any skin tone or multiple skin tones should be able to get away with this with and just look gorgeous. I don't know. Like it's, I think it speaks for itself. Um, I'm excited to try some of the like more nude shades because I haven't tried those yet. I do know, like I said, I, I would need like a lip liner with them. But yeah, it's nice to have at least one or two colors out of the box that just immediately work without having to do any like finessing. So that is my little review demo of all of the new Ilia launches and some of the things that I've already had um, to complete this space. Let me know in the comments below if you would try any of this, if you're interested in any of this. Um, if you have any questions or anything that I can help you with, please, like I said, leave it below and I'd be happy to chat. I'll also leave links for everything below as well in case you see something you like and you want to do some shopping. And yeah, thank you guys again for sticking through this video. Um, if you like the video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hopefully we'll be back again next week. Uh, fingers crossed. I'm trying to break some generational curses this year with YouTube, trying to get my act together. So like I said, um, yeah, hopefully we'll be back sooner than later. And I appreciate you all for being here and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.